everyone, hi it's Lucia and I'm really excited to bring to you this haul from Ulta. It Cosmetics finally made it to the store near me and I was really excited because I've been waiting to get a full size concealer and I finally did and this is in the shade Neutral Medium. It's called Bye Bye Under Eye. Uh, concealer. It's infused with collagen and vitamin C and K. It's very creamy and very pigmented. It goes under the eye. You can use just a little bit and it goes a long way. And I don't use this on the rest of my face. I just use it underneath my eye. So it is lighter than my natural uh, skin tone. And just this much here, I could do both of my eyes because that's how uh, pigmented it is. And it doesn't settle in the fine lines or the wrinkles, and it doesn't crease at all. And it's very creamy. I also use it as a base for my eyeshadow because uh, lately I've been finding that the paint pots and the cream eyeshadows are really drying on my lid, and this doesn't, and I really like it a lot. So I do recommend this concealer because you can use it as a highlight over here and over here where the crow's feet are and all under here. It's just a really nice highlighter. And I also picked up a black gel liner and this is in black. It's called Liner Love, I guess that's the name of it. And it's very, very black. I want to give you a good swatch of it so you can see how black that is. It's really, really black. And I did tight line underneath my, I did use it today as a liner, but my favorite eyeliner of all times is in lots number 77. And this is just so black. It's like black like tar. So it's hard to find another eyeliner that measures up to this one because this is extremely black. I mean, so black. A little bit goes a long way. And it's just really black. So you can see they're almost the same. So I just wanted to try it out. I always, every time a new gel liner comes out, I have to try it. I did buy the new one from uh, Urban Decay. It was called, and it, it, it wasn't at all what I thought it was gonna be. It wasn't black, black, black. And I was kind of disappointed in that. I don't have it to show you because I did exchange it for this one. I was, I really thought it was gonna be black, like, you know, uh, perversion, you know, it said it was really black, but it wasn't as black as I thought it was going to be, and maybe because I'm spoiled by the Inglot gel liner, because that is just like so black. So if you're looking for a great black gel liner, uh, Inglot number 77, that's, it's just, it's just so black. <laughs> and it's just, I really like it a lot, especially for winged eyeliner. It's just the perfect black gel liner. So I'm getting back to the haul from Ulta. We kind of got it off track when I talk about uh, the gel liner. I uh, also picked up the highlighter from Make Cosmetics and if I show you this, it's going to get all, it's like, a, uh, it's going to mirror back my camera and the lighting. So this is the highlighter and it's called Hello Light the Cream Illuminator and it has a nice uh, luminescence effect. It's not glittery. It does what it's supposed to do. It's a, it just gives you light. So to show you, see on my hand how it just highlights. It just lights up the areas here, here, you put it down the nose and it's, it's a perfect highlighter. I love it. Uh, recently in a previous video, I showed you the naturally pretty uh, palette. This is a good palette for every day. This is not a smoky eye palette. It's one of those palettes if you need a good palette to wear your work, you, you want it subtle, you don't want dramatic eyes, but you want eyeshadow. And this is a good palette for that. So you can see it has lots of colors, uh, pretty much neutral. They're uh, satin finish, not too shimmery, and not exactly matte. Uh, this is supposed to be your transforming shade, so if you put it over the eyeshadow, it kind of gives it a shimmer effect, but it's not a shimmer shimmer. It's like more than a satin effect. So you can get lots of definition uh, 
mixing the eyeshadows together or if you want a little bit of the satin finish uh, against the matte, that's what you use this transformer shade for. So, um, like I'll swatch this. It's They are pigmented and very creamy, not like very um, drying. I'll swatch some of the eyeshadows so you can see what I'm talking about. Like the shade Sunset, when I put it on my finger, you can see that it's, it is pigmented. Uh, the shadows are very creamy. Uh, it gives you a nice wash of color. So I put it on my hand. But again, it is an everyday palette. Like if, say, if you're going to work or uh, you just want uh, eyeshadow for during the day, this is a great palette for that because you're not going to get much of a smoky eye out of this palette. But they do have a palette and it's in this black case and it has all your primary colors and they're very creamy. And again, these uh, shadows are infused with uh, collagen and vitamins so they won't crease on your lid and they won't settle in the fine lines. So they're very nice and pigmented. Now, if I like even stick my finger in it, a lot of the product comes off and it's very, very creamy. And I'll put that, I rubbed it into my, you know, hands. So they're very nice and creamy, but not drying. That's because I think it's infused with minerals. So even this matte one, the slightest touch in the pan, they're so pigmented. Look at that one. Compare, I mean, it's just, they're real, they're awesome. And I got this a while ago. I actually, uh, my first video ever on this channel was done with this palette, but I just wanted to show you the difference between the palettes. So this one's a good one if you do want to do a smoky eye because it's very, very pigmented and really nice. Look at that. Just sticking my fingers in them, they're just creamy and just opaque and just beautiful. And you get both uh, satin finishes, some shimmers, like this one here is a shimmer on my pinky. You know, just beautiful wash of color. So this is really a nice palette. And I do wear the Natural Pretty one to work during the day. Like I said, this is a good day palette for every day for work. And this one is for your smoky day to night. So they're both great palettes. So it's a really good time to shop at Ulta because the reward system has changed because every dollar that you spend reverts to points and those points revert to cash awards against your purchases and there's no exclusions. You can use your rewards for Urban Decay, for uh, Clinique for any uh, prestige brand that Alta carries and of course for the uh, drugstore brands I don't think you can use it on uh, salon services or brow services but otherwise you can use it on everything else and instead of getting uh, products for reaching 500 points for example, you get money off your bill. You can rack them up to 2000 I think the highest reward is $125. And you can use that in anything on the store, and that's great. So instead of uh, having that 350 coupon that's so annoying that you can't use it against Urban Decay or Clinique, now you can use your rewards against anything. So I've been racking up some points. Mally Products has finally made its way to Ulta 2. This is another brand like It Cosmetics that exclusively was found on QVC or on their own website. And I got this Evercolor Poreless Face Defender. I mean, this is her known product where it's you're supposed to use this instead of powder and I did use it today instead of powder on my skin it kind of gives that uh, look to no I can't explain it because it's like wax it's no color and it's dry it's like wet but then when you put it on your fingers it's dry to the touch and you're supposed to put this it comes with this pad and you put it all over you know you rub it into that like that and then you pat it on the skin and it's supposed to take place of your powder and it's for those people who don't like powder because it settles in fine lines or wrinkles this is a great alternative to that 
and it doesn't settle in your fine lines or wrinkles and I did wear it today and I like the finish it's like you can touch your makeup and it doesn't come off on your skin it's just the weirdest thing but it's it's just the coolest product ever so this is the ever color poreless face defender and it's just awesome and you get a nice big sponge look at that sponge it's just a nice product you know if you don't like powder and uh especially uh for the summer i think it's going to be nice because it just just doesn't settle in the fine lines i can't it's the weirdest thing but it, it's awesome it's a good product so i do recommend it instead of powder i really was amazed by it i didn't think i was going to like it at all but i do i really like it a lot the Rock came out with new lipsticks, and I got one in the shade Showgirl, and I'm wearing it on the lips. It's such a pretty shade. They're very creamy, and there's a whole bunch of shades, and I picked up just this one, because I thought this is what it looks like in the tube, and they are very cheap. They're not really expensive. They retail for about $16, so I really like that because there's tons of shades. So you're going to see a lot of those shades from me because they're really nice. They're creamy. They last a long time. They don't crack in your lips or dry or get all that gritty stuff that usually happens in the corners of your mouth. So they do stay creamy and they're long wearing, so I like them a lot. Every new palette I have to buy. I'm such a palette person, and this is really, really nice. And look at all those shades. They're really pretty. It's really nice for summer. And uh, the, of course, Too Faced is known for their pigmentation and the blue. Look at the blue. Just those two shades together are really nice. Uh, it's, it's nice. You, you, they put shades together you just wouldn't think of in this palette to use together. Like the blue and the purple, that looks really nice on my finger. I don't know how it would look on your eyes, but I mean, they're, it's really nice. And the orange, it's just like a nice like apricot color and that one on my pinky. Can't, I, I don't, you know, the names. Jarden, it's just very, very pretty. Of course, you get the three, so it's perfect for summer. So, I'm... the bulletproof brows, I have to say, I wasn't really impressed with this product at all. And I thought I was going to be, and I hate to say it, but I didn't like the brush, and it dried. I don't like this. I, I just, I used it and I didn't like it. So, me personally, it dried out. It's, this was totally, this totally didn't do it for me at all. I, I don't, no, the brush is really thick. I don't know what they were thinking with this product. I hate to knock a product, but I, this is a total fail for me. The brush is really thick. You can't, I can't etch out my brow with that. Me personally, how could you etch out your brow with the brush? But this is like, very overpriced and I didn't like this at a lot. I have to give this a thumbs down. This, it's in the Universal Brunette and I d this totally was a fail. Eesh. I mean, being honest, it's it's just like tinted. It, it doesn't give, not, not at all like the pomade from, um, you see how the pomade from Anastasia gives a very dark brow and you can etch it out and you can have, this doesn't do that. No, this is just like very, it just, ugh, no. So I wanna thank you guys for watching and I'll be back with more. I bought a lot of stuff this upcoming spring season and I wanna share it with you. So thanks for watching, uh, give it a thumbs up uh, please subscribe to my channel and of course as always I will see you again in the next video. Mm -hmm.